Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. I was I was reading, uh, you know, I like to stick to happy clappy things, as you know, Travis. Sure. Uh-huh. Mm. Did I give you any of that? Well, this one <laughs> made me sweaty. This is a uh, House Judiciary Counsel, Mike Conway, former uh, House Judiciary Counsel, warned that uh, Jack Smith is running out of time if he intends to act on possible charges for Trump. This is this has activated my verica saltiness to right. uh, 11 billion. That was designed to trigger, yeah. He said a report from the New York Times saying Smith is following the money of the Trump campaign, you know, the wire fraud mm-hmm. part, blah, blah, blah. Um, if accurate, Smith's prosecutorial instinct to pursue his investigation wherever the facts lead, remember the Mueller did not follow the money? Correct. Uh, is uh, ordinarily laudable, could become a recipe for delay in this case. If he doesn't do something in time, it could mean voters head to the polls without knowing the outcome of the suit. There's the matter of Trump's own personal delays if his lawyers manage motion after motion that extend the pretrial timeline. He cited federal statistics showing the median time it takes for a criminal felony to move from indictment to disposition uh, in D.C. District Court is nearly 18 months. That's not even a case as complicated as Trump's could be. Moreover, the average number of defendants per case in this sample is 1.3 persons. Uh, if Smith indicts Trump along with many or any of his potential co-conspirators, the complexity of the trial will increase, and so will the delays. That could mean Trump's trial wouldn't even start until as late as November 2024. If Trump were elected, it would mean, of course, he would shut down everything and uh, fire uh, all the pro- right mm-hmm. um for the sake of the country smith seems to wrap up this investigation and make his recommendation to the attorney general as soon as possible he closed with each passing day the risk grows that any criminal charges against trump will be pending in november 2024 if that happens american voters will serve as trump's jury oh god mm-hmm. like we needed to be more depressed today right oh well, you know i and i feel like it's becoming imminent with the degree to which he's spazzing out with the statements from the bassinet of the court <laughs> doesn't seem stable. Wow. Hooray! Okay. Uh, oh, this was after he d- spazzed out about the Proud Boys being convicted and s- calling them great mm-hmm. patriots. Because and they're... Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Criminals. Just conspiracy terrorists? Back in the USA, but sadly, I see so many really bad, bad things happening to our country. The DOJ and the FBI are destroying the lives of so many great American patriots right before our very... Those would be the convicted seditious murderers. Right. Convicted felons. Those would be the great... Yeah. Okay, got it. Big mm-hmm. sentences. Uh, the court system is the rubber stamp for their conviction and imprisonment and all this while the radical left protects and coddles extremists and murderers at every level and with intensity never seen before. Get smart, America. They're coming after you. Right. Okay. Uh, um, who, unless being, you engage in seditious conspiracy, they're not coming who's after Who's coming after? You. Who's being coddled? Did terrorists. Say- terrorists, apparently. Are being we we put the terrorists in jail what what terrorists is not it? those those are the patriots try to pay attention chris those are the patriots of who's the coming world. after him is it drag queens i don't know i don't know here's the oh this was the sidebar with taco penis and the uh oh. eugene carroll judge oh yeah in a sidebar friday he said i know you understand what i'm dealing with this is when trump opened his big yap and said i'm coming to testify Someone asked Taco Penis, and he's like, no, he's not. Computer says no. Nah. Yeah. And so the so the judge is like, okay, I'm going to give you a ch- five o'clock yesterday. And that weirdly passed, mm-hmm. and it turns out Trump is completely full of He did was just talking in Scotland. What? Was it? And he's not. No. He doesn't nothing. do that. He's Stephanie, got you're lying. He's got nothing. Good day, sir. You get nothing. You didn't want to talk under oath? Oh, speaking of nothing, how about this? Uh, Grassley admitted, Chuck Grassley admitted to Newsmax, Greta Van Susteren, that he has no evidence to back up his claims about Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah. He said it's a very serious allegation. I wish I could say I knew it was true or untrue. Oh, Oh, that's the Lord. (laughs) So why did, okay, why did you put out that press release? Yeah, fisting aficionado Josh Hawley Mm -hmm. said Democrats need to prove that this isn't, when did you stop beating your wife? Yeah, Democrats need to prove the thing that we are saying about Biden that we don't have any evidence of. Is, yeah, you prove it's not true then. But that's not how it works. That's, yeah, that's not how anything works. And is it until proven guilty? Could you get now a warning ready? Oh, my God. Bill Barr says Trump will deliver chaos and a horror show if he's real. If he's put back in office. Now a warning? <laughs> if he's put back in office, Bill Barr would like it's us funny. to know that there could be trouble. Would Bill Barr take another job with Donald Trump? Mm. Yeah, it's funny how many mem- ex-members of his administration 
are saying that. Yeah. You know, once, once they meet him, mm, they're yeah. like, oh, no, we don't. Uh, uh, no, not this. Yes. Any, not this again. No. That's why I needed this from Discover Magazine this morning. Swearing could actually be an emotional release valve and studies show people who swear like sailors are more honest and more intelligent. <laughs> Nay, you better believe it. Well, then Rude Pundit is. This, yeah, Rude's the smartest like man in the Chuck world. Chuck Grassley and others. Oh, my God. I Grassley and Com- Comer. Right. They're the ones who, who put out that press release yes, last week. Yes, those guys. Yeah. Oh, Comer, the guy who they always ask, Can, do you have any proof? And he says, well, they yeah, should be. Something. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Well, this is going to be about us. And we can do it. We can. Yep. I know we can. I've won tough races before. I beat a 22-year incumbent just to get into the Congress. My story alone has been about overcoming tough odds. We're going to win this. Yep. Future Senator Colin uh, Allred. Yep. You are not going to solve the gun problem until you get rid of senators that think it's fun to, um, I don't know, cook bacon on their AR-15. To, he's just, a, he's a troll. Mm-hmm. He, you know, governs by stunts, which mm-hmm. is what, yeah, what did I say? GOP. Yeah. Stunts and f***s. That's what they are. What? It's also worth pointing out that our football player, our ex-football yes, player, Colin who's going to run for Senate, yeah. is much better than their ex-football player yes. who ran for who Senate. Who might be going to uh, prison for wire fraud, yeah, in that's case too. you missed that one. Yeah, I, I heard about that. Yeah, that's not yeah. important now. Okay, Dave in Minneapolis, you're on the Stephanie Miller Show. Hello, Dave. Hello, Hello Dave. Mama. Um, t- a couple things. First of all, I had no idea that Maya Angelou had a blue time when she worked. Yes, yes. She, she had the blue search. period, yes. I had no blue. idea. I'm going to search for that poetry. Yes. Yeah. She said, when um, someone shows you they're a bag of believe them yeah Mm -hmm. that one i like that one i do like a lot uh just a shout out to karen in chicago being a brave mom uh i don't know obviously you guys don't read the star tribune from minneapolis here but our headline this weekend was that people with trans children are moving here a lot uh because our state has been declared a safe haven for trans kids families with trans children um, which makes me so proud of my state and make absolutely so proud of who we are here, but also incredibly sad to the fact that you know, we've got political, you know, basically political uh, escapees from the rest of this country to come here yeah. so that their children can get be treated like human beings. Yeah. Um, um, just in case it, people, it, Dave, don't know, uh, Karen wrote a beautiful, you know, Twitter thread and has talked about on this show that uh, she's a, right. a, a, a mom of a trans person. And she just was saying about, I had these mother-daughter dreams. And even as a progressive, I was, um, you know, obviously bewildered and sure. didn't know, you know, blah, 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 all the things that you go through. And, you know, just basically said it was replaced with new new dreams of, my, you know, my mother-son dreams. So, you know, that is a beautiful oh, way. Yeah. And realizing that it, you know, her, her son is the same person. They're the same person. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. She reframed her life. She reframed her life so that, you know, and, and recognizing that change is the only constant we have in this existence. Remember the uh, We're All God's change. Children as the official Lutheran pastor and uh, hot dish yes. passer of the Stephanie Miller yes. show? Yeah, it doesn't That I am. Yeah. But it doesn't, that doesn't seem to apply to right-wing Christians. They really don't seem to believe we're all God's children, do they? No. No, and they don't, and they don't want it to be the case. Uh, they want, you know, their their idea of God. And this is a shout out also to Rude, who was just spot on. Can't believe I'm agreeing with Rude, but anyway, <laughs> um, the, uh, the what, he, what he said about what kind of God do you have, and these right wingers. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, they they apparently God. have the kind of God that is fine for uh, you know children to get their face shot off at the mall on a random right. Saturday. Right, and, you know, and they would be aghast if you you told them that. But yeah. I mean, essentially, if they believe God is a God of wrath and judgment and not a God of love, then that fits with their image. They they have put their own faces on the face of God, yeah, rather than uh, owning it. You know, looking at God in a different way. Um, it, that's not what the universe is about. It just isn't. And this hatefulness is simply a reflection of what's going on inside of these their rotting hearts it's 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 yeah. really really indicative of why we're going the direction that we are you what yeah you know, the i mean manifestation when they're busy is what with, when people like the you know the ron DeSantis of the world are busy banning books you can see why they don't want you to read books right oh yeah right i mean you dumb well you know but just to the, you know the unless you read the history of i mean look at this latest shooter white supremacist neo-nazi unless mm-hmm. you've read books about how that ends and banning books ends. Right. Uh, anyway, okay. Yes, Ron DeSantis is too busy uh, banning books, banning, I, I don't, drag shows. 
banning guns in schools. That's crazy. Oh, no. Drag queens, yeah. yeah drag queens are apparently a bigger threat than people mm. with guns. Mm -hmm. If drag queens carry guns, then maybe we could get something done. Let's go. Well, to homecoming that. queens carry guns. We know that. <laughs> Let's go to Mark in Wisconsin. Hi, Mark. Welcome. Yeah, I get a kind of a kick out of these religious politicians that ignore the whole part of free will. And, you know, they say, well, God does this, God does that. Well, then what's the, what's the point of, of free will that we're all supposed to have? I mean, these these people who are doing these mass shootings all supposedly have free will, like the rest of us do. Yet they use, choose their free will to take the lives of others. Yeah. I mean, it, it just is so sad. I would think I mean, that it, he gave us free will to do something about it, unless God really likes, you know, daily massacres. I don't know. You know, it's just sad. I mean, that this is such a far cry from how I grew up in, you know, a, a hunting family that it, it just disgusts me that people are using this as an excuse. Oh, we have to have our weapons for this and that. No, you don't. I've never been tempted to get my gun. Lived growing up in far northern rural Wisconsin, somebody pulls into your driveway, wonder well, who's coming to visit or somebody's got lost and they're asking for directions to go out. Yeah, you're thinking maybe they have... People, for yeah. God's sake. You're like, maybe they have cheese. I mean, in Wisconsin. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah Mar oh, I get what you mean. At first, I thought you meant what's that the thing where they're hunting each other? Not that. That's not what you meant. That not that kind of hunting family. Oh, not good lord! What movie is that? Oh, Hunger, Games? Hunger Games. Hunger yeah, Games. I'm not. You you hunted uh, animal. Okay, got it. All right, thank yeah. you, Mark. Thank you. All right. Yeah, you know, right? If you answered the door anywhere in Wisconsin, you want to wait to see if they had cheese first. Absolutely, I'd yeah. expect them to have cheese. Yeah, I, I'd expect them to have cheese set out for me. Thank you, Harry in San Antonio. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, go ahead. Uh, okay, hello? Yes, go yes. ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Paula uh, Poundstone's having a folks, party. These yes. Folks with the, um, with these folks with the AR-15s? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, all right. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Then. Can't do that. All right. Well, that didn't end any better than it started. Yeah, yeah. That, that, okay. was, that was going nowhere anyway. Okay, Rude Pundit tweets, Trump and the other leading election denialists not only didn't tell their idiot hordes to stop threatening officials, they actively sent those hordes after them. There should be a legal cost to that. Um, yeah, we shall see. Um, uh... Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. Friends, I hope you'll join me on my audio podcast, Justice Matters. We talk about not only the legal issues of the day, but we also talk about the need to reform ethics in our government. Here's one example, the oath of office. You know the one. I do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Let's add 22 words to that oath. Quote, and I will promptly report any instances of crime and or corruption by government officials and employees of which I become aware. Friends, our democracy is worth fighting for. Join us in this fight, because justice matters. Look for Justice Matters wherever you ordinarily find your podcasts.